Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, hi guys, uh, I'm James. So today I'll be presenting on my project at the Barcode Scanner Guitar. So it's a okay, backstory about this project is really random thing. I one month ago I was like scrolling Instagram. Then I saw this uh, this guy who made a barcode scanner guitar also. <laughs> then I was like, I'm gonna build this. I don't know how to build this, but I'm gonna build this. So yeah, at the same time I was like learning Python, so I thought maybe I can try to do something like him. Uh. But okay, let me show you the video a bit. Oh, the Wi Fi message. <laughs> Okay, so basically, um, he built he built this uh, barcode scanner guitar, but his uses a uh, Raspberry Pi, and uh, no, I mean uh, Arduino Mega. Okay, the video's up. As you can see, like he has like buttons there, so he's like way more high tech than mine. But also, his needs to have a lot of. My name's James Bruton, and this week I'm going to show you how I made this guitar out of a barcode Hello. scanner and parts from arcade machines. Okay, so basically he he used um, let me find that part. As you can see, you can see here he has he has like all those like fancy fancy like synthesizers and stuff, which I don't think a lot of people have. So I thought maybe I can make something that is more like accessible to the general public and. I mean, not everyone has uh, Arduino Mega or so. So I tried, I thought maybe you can make it just with my computer alone. So. Okay, so this on the top, you see, um, this is basically what James Bruton's guitar uses. Um, he uses an Arduino Mega with a MIDI shield and a USB host shield. And he also has a lot of synthesizers. Well, while my guitar, I attempt to just use my laptop alone to create uh, the, a similar thing. Uh. So these are the hardware slash software required in both cases. As you can see, he really needs a lot of things. While mine just purely needs software. So I think I can cut a lot of costs from that. So uh, the, main, the two main things that uh, run the program behind the, the guitar is fluid synth and pi fluid synth. So fluid synth I think is written in C. So we need pi fluid synth as a bind Python bindings to be able to um, use this uh, fluid synth library on Python. So what's fluid synth? Fluid synth is a real-time MIDI synthesizer and it, it takes the MIDI input and uh, gives up MIDI audio. La. So it's based on Soundphone 2. So it's like like you have fonts, you have like Arial and uh, Arial Comic Sense, but for your typing fonts, but sound fonts are like instruments uh, basically. So then the other other library that I used is Pygame. So it allows me to take live input from this barcode scanner. And this barcode scanner actually like mimics like key presses on the the keyboard of the laptop. So it basically works the same way. Yeah, so if I code it to the relevant no and caught it will be able to play it now. So I'll just show a short demo. So you can like Hey, eh? what's no sound? So you can change the output from the okay, I'll just, I'll just HDMI to your laptop. I'll just, hey. unplug and I'll just unplug, okay. Hey. Question. Okay, technical difficulty, sorry. Yeah. It bounced the wrong audio. Okay, so.
and you can change the different scenes. So if I scan this one, yeah, but but because like this is some some problem that I face because uh, different sound fonts have like different like I think I think different how is it sus, sus, sustain. So when I when I can hold it here, but I can't I can't hold it here because it's it's just a instant click and release. Uh. So I also uh, coded some chords also which you also can change the sound font yeah so it's it's okay it's quite uh for, for now it's like quite prototype stage yet so i've also uploaded the code on my github yeah so i think that's about it thank you Oh yeah, my GitHub is MCCH <laughs> for okay. Then I'll just if you're interested, you can just like look for me later. Yes, thanks. Okay. Show, show. Okay. <laughs> okay. So another problem I faced was uh, the the barcode scanner actually doesn't detect. Like, okay, actually only detects the barcodes at a certain angle so sometimes it has a scan rate of like 50 percent like it doesn't detect some of the notes that you scan so okay so basically i think that's something you can look i can look into further sorry what's what does the barcode represent oh basically oh the bar okay i didn't touch that so sorry uh basically the barcode is like um like codes it, it it gives back out S SKI characters. SKI characters. characters, yeah, so correct. What do these on your oh, it just ABC represents ABC like the, the notes on the, the keyboard. Note uh, the, the, key letters. The, the letters on the keyboard. So if, oh. if I like, I press Q and I scan the Q barcode, it's the same thing. Oh. Yeah, and so I just code this uh, Q barcode to like using Pygame. So to the this is a, a keyboard layout realized on a Katanic. Yeah. So it's the choice of yeah. Is with the keyboard layout. Yeah. yeah. Because I think I think it will be even more confusing if it's. How, how do you generate the the, the barcode? Uh, the barcode just went to internet like barcode scanner or something like like barcode barcode generator. Barcode generator yeah, and then it'll just come out. And then you stitch them together using like how, how do you print them out? Or you just print I just print it out. and then cut and paste. Right. <laughs> yeah. This is hackware. Okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was it's, this thing was done in like four hours. Yeah, <laughs> and this is this this is uh something I found my fuel pack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was that desperate. Still NS yeah, I'm still at NS now. Have you, have you looked into whether you can remove that barcode scanner from going beep every time it sees something? Yeah, I think people say there's a beep, there's a the buzzer inside there. So if I could open it and like disable it or something, I think. See, again, again, yeah. again, I think I'm the wrong meetup because I would think like, oh, maybe there's an API in the software. Nah, I just open it and take out the buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> there is, sure, uh, there is an API that's interesting though. Hey. <laughs> from, the, from the video uh, that you showed initially, he clearly wasn't click scanning. Or wasn't, oh, didn't to be. okay. His was different from mine. Mine is click scan, but his is when you click, um, when you mine is when you scan, it note on and instantly note note off. But his his scanning one is you, you click ready, then it note note on. Then you have to click another button to note off. Uh, oh, so so here if you notice here like four buttons here. And yeah. one button was to yeah, to put the note off. But I thought it was it didn't it wouldn't make it sound like a guitar already. Yeah, it, it's kinda of cheating. That's yeah, that's yeah. really not scanning a barcode. Yeah. <laughs> well yeah. gives a eh? lot of ideas. Can use your phone instead. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was thinking about that so because I didn't want to buy this thing. Yeah, you need this QR code. <laughs> this thing cost twenty dollars, so it was like the only thing I spent. But I thought I was thinking if I could make it like zero dollars, but I was lazy to do the phone one. It's too much. I mean, I I'm not really programming guy or so. Uh, so um, there's something to try. To yeah, okay, wait. Does it come up? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
Yeah. I just noticed this yellow yeah. wire. So this the the. It's a trap. Yeah, I didn't. Not enough wire. So it's. By the way, it's at the other end. So the more you fix something, the better it is. Just a question. Why haven't we moved the hair and scheme to uh the month year or year months? Don't ask. Never mind. Year month. I mean, good people put it in that way. What? Too complicated to change. Why haven't we moved?